Hey, good uh, morning, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday morning. Uh, this is Coach Bill with Weight Loss Made Easy. Uh, have, I hope everybody's doing great today. Uh, the topic today is something that um, uh, people don't quite understand how important uh, cortisol is to survive. And that cortisol seems to be getting a uh, big uh, or a bad rap because a lot of the uh, professionals out there aren't really explaining how important cortisol is. And so what they're, re what they're relating cortisol to is when it's high, it's basically causing you to actually um, gain body fat or belly fat. And in a sense, that can be true if you combine it with another hormone. You see, if cortisol by itself during certain circumstances stances, is actually going to help you guys burn fat. And for that reason, that's why it's so important. But cortisol, first of all, what is cortisol and what is its job? Well, there's a couple reasons. A couple things that the cortisol does. The first one is it's your fight and flight hormone. Basically, if you get into a situation, an emergency, and you have to make a decision very quickly, the hormone cortisol is what gives you that decision to either run from the issue or it's to fight to save your life or whatever. It's like, for example, I don't know, maybe you're taking a walk and you're walking down the block and then all of a sudden you see a dog, dog's coming up, coming up toward you and you have to make a decision, okay, is that dog going to attack me because it looks like it is or what do I have to do? Do I need to kick it as it comes after me or do I need to turn around and go the other way or walk or run? That's what cortisol does. Well, another thing that's very, very important is cortisol will actually help you to lose weight under certain circumstances. So basically this video is more toward those of you um, that, are do, follow, that are doing the primal eating lifestyle, which is, you guys know as a ketogenic diet, high fat, medium uh, to low protein, and very, very low carbs. And you're combining it with uh, intermittent prolonged fasting. Because you, you need to understand that your quarter, when you're fasting, during your fasted state, and hopefully you're going past um, 12 hours, your cortisol is going to be a little elevated. It will be elevated during your fasting state. Now, most of you are thinking, well, I, I don't fast or I can't fast. You know what, guys? If you think about it, most all of you are fasting anyway. Because w what are you doing when you're sleeping? Basically, you're fasting because you're not eating anything. So basically, you're doing some kind of fasting. So don't think you're not fasting. You are. You're doing some kind of fasting. But the thing is, what uh, a cortisol will actually be more elevated in the morning when you wake up. And see what the reasoning for the cortisol to be risen, which is a good thing. This is what cortisol is designed for, is that it's getting you prepared for the day. So your cortisol hormones are going to be a little higher in the morning. Now, cortisol doesn't stay high all day long, guys. No, it's pulsating. So it goes up and down, up and down throughout the whole whole day. And that's probably a lot of you may not know, know that. But cortisol is going to be a little higher um, in the morning when you wake up. Now, remember what I said now, cortisol is going to be elevated when you're fasting. And so, as you're fasting, guys, and, you're, and your cortisol's up, when you get past a certain hour, and I'm going to use 12 hours because I, I always try to explain to my clients uh, that are doing my 60-day online coaching, and then, of, of course, I'll attach this information uh, for those of you that want to go to my YouTube channel, type in Bill May Mabry, subscribe to it. You'll get more ants. You'll get more health videos. But the idea here is, when you're fasting, your cortisol level is going to be higher. Okay, and this is the second thing that cortisol does. When you're in a fasted state, 
your cortisol is going to be up and it's also activating your natural mechanisms to add lean muscle and to slow down premature aging. In other words, you're activating hormones like testosterone, your growth hormones, neuroadrenaline, adrenaline, and those are the hormones you need as far as to keep you healthy. And so when you're in a fasted state, and those of you that are doing the prime male eating lifestyle and the, that are doing the intermittent fasting, you understand how important uh, ketones are. And that when your body is in a ketosis, which means your liver is producing ketones, that's going to be that is your rocket fuel for your body which gives you the massive amounts of energy and puts you in a very very healthy state and besides if you can keep your ketones levels up to a certain point throughout the day then you're staying basically in fat burning that's what you want because if you're trying to lose that belly or body fat you want to keep your ketones as high as possibly throughout the day okay so now here's the kicker here is what happens with cortisol when you combine it with another hormone that will cause it to store fat. And that hormone is insulin. Okay? And so you guys that follow me have heard me say that when Emily and I come off of a prolonged fast or we come off of a... Of a intermittent fasting which our intermittent fasting is 18 to 20 hours our prolonged fastings could be 24 hours up to 72 hours we always like to come off of our fast with bone broth organic bone broth because it's very easy on our gut it not only gets our gut ready to uh, take on it my our first meal our first solid meal but it helps to produce the hydrochloric acid and the digestive enzymes we need to get ready for that uh, first solid meal but the other thing this is this is where it starts this is what you have to know to keep your ketones at a level the other thing it does is it actually starts to lower your cortisol levels so you can get so when you're coming off your fast you're at a higher level of cortisol when you're doing a bone broth or we also have a cocktail that we we do it's ginger apple cider vinegar uh, some uh, Himalayan sea salt and a cup of water uh, we're using hydrogen rich water that's not contaminated and we'll drink that uh, about an hour or so b before our meal the bone broth is the same thing but we're getting very good uh, and those of you that don't know much about what the uh, therapeutic effect of bone broth is and what collagen is because that collagen's in the bone bone broth I'll do another video about this but I will put the information on this video when I post it but the bone broth has got humongous humongous amount of health benefits not only because of the nutrients and the minerals in it and the protein but it also helps for old people like us for premature aging or anti-aging and besides old people like like us who have football bo uh, bodies need something to help us with our past football injuries or arthritis or whatever issues joint issues you have because collagen and collagen is uh, is the builder okay along with the protein what you need which is the uh, the amino acid which helps to do lean muscle so that's why we do bone broth but we're going to elevate our uh, uh, cortisol levels down before we have our first meal now when you have your first meal it doesn't matter what it is it could be protein it could be lean chicken it could be fish it could be uh, veggies or a salad or hard-boiled egg or an avocado or whatever it is you are going to elevate your insulin you're going to produce some type of glucose that is where we have the issue when your insulin level when your cortisol levels high when you're coming off of a fast and then you're gonna break your fast with carbohydrates say starches like pastas or bread or a sandwich or or potatoes or some kind of a starchy vegetable or starchy food and that's going to cause your insulin to spike high with your insulin with your hormone cholesterol high there's the issue 
when you spike your insulin above the uh, above the flat line, above the line, the baseline, and your insulin and your cortisol levels high also because you're coming off the fast, then your body is going to store fat. Okay, then your ketones, boom, they drop down. So then, that's why most of you who do a, a GKI index reading, when you right after you eat, let's say a half hour after you eat, you check your ketones, and all of a sudden they're gone. That's because you've thrown yourself out of ketosis. So that's how Emily and I stay in therapeutic or nutritional ketosis, is by uh, breaking our fast about an hour before we have our first meal with bone broth, that's our first choice because of all the health benefits, or we'll do a cocktail that we do. Now the cocktail that we do is an appetite depressor. That's what it does. And so when I'm doing my Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday cardio uh, intermittent or interval cardio only days, I will have that because I may only have one meal. I may go 24 hours and only have one meal those days. And what I'll do is when I'm done with my cardio and I get home about noon, I'll have one of my appetite depressant cocktails and that pretty much takes the hunger wave away uh, when I, if I do get, get one. But Emily and I have been doing this for a while now so we really don't get those hunger waves anymore uh, when we're fasting past 12 hours. Like I said, our fasting protocol is 18 to 20. We feel great doing that every single day. And our strength and recovery after training is always, always good. So, guys, I hope that I hope you saw some value in that. Uh, like I said, you can go to my YouTube channel, type in Bill Mabry, subscribe to it, or you can uh, uh, message me if you want to know some more information on our 60-day online coaching. Because uh, there's a reason why you guys should probably hire a coach. It's very important that when you get on the journey of trying to lose that belly fat or body fat, you need accountability, okay? You need to be educated. I have training modules that I will send to, send to my clients every week to give them the educational information that they need so they understand, okay, why are we doing this? Okay, what caused me to uh, fall off the wagon and why, why are my ketones level, you know, on and on and on. So you're going to get that during our coaching. So message me if you want to know more about that. But hey guys, I hope you guys saw some value in this. Don't be afraid of cortisol being the all-time bad cortisol that most of you know it as. It's not. It was put into our bodies for a reason. We cannot function without it. And it actually will help you lose that belly fat. It, under the right circumstances and you need to understand what those circumstances is and you also need to understand how high carbohydrate diets with a lot of starchy foods will actually cause you combining it with cortisol because you're going to as you eat the carbs it's converted to glucose it then spikes the insulin and your cortisol's high boom what do you have you got fat storing that's the main objective there. So, guys, hope you have a great Saturday. We'll see you guys at the next video. Have a great day. Bye.